So this is from the last uh, response to um, uh, Tender Buttons uh, Rooms, and it's called Enclosed. And uh, again, I want to wish the birthday gentleman a happy birthday, many more. This lovely house. Enclosed. What's a room? What's an heirloom? To contain something, to define its sides by the perimeter, parameter. A room is an act, a performer, a room does. A room is vowels, consonants, a constriction, a making, a formulation. Rooms are temporal, a construct, an aberration, a mirage. There is a false sense, a flask, a flash of security in a room. A room is a baby. Hi, Justin. A room is a baby. <laughs> when a baby puts baby hands over a baby face and hides you, the room are your hands over your face. A room is pretending, but a room believes this. Windows in a room are like a romantic comedy. As soon as you see them, you know the ending. If rooms were actually rooms, why would you need another room to get a room in? Why would, you, why would a room have more than one door if it were really a room? <laughs> a room is a rum tummy. It sloshes. If it didn't, why wouldn't you put rainbow, rain boots into a room instead of outside a real room? Rooms are figments. We have all been led to believe that rooms are actual rooms when rooms are not. There are no rooms. Cells are the way we define matter, but we also say cells are porous. Rooms are cells, yes, even prison. Prison is real, don't get me wrong, but what are cells? Cells are structures of selfishness. Cells are shellfish. They mean different things depending on the person, but they are not things in and of themselves. Mandela made this point and reiterated it time after time. It is the uniformity around the cells, namely the uniforms themselves that make the room and cells what they are today. Give credit where credit is due. The creditors say those in cells are cretins and are getting what's due, but I doubt it. No one is due cells. If not everyone is due a room to themselves, then no one is due a cell. That's just true. Cells are uniform, a way of dressing, some say. I say, some sing. That's what I say. Some cells sing, despite the uniformity, their own tones. One can change notes in a charged way. One can chagrin. One can capture, catapult, complain. In principle, the principal's office is a room, a cell, a warning. It's something. This is where it starts. If you're lucky, the threat of a room begins in elementary school. When you are too small to reach the door handle, when you can't reach the shelf, when the desk is eye level, when the closet is on all fours, when you have to take a nap on a piece of square carpet in the middle of something, they tell you that's a room. They tell you your bassinet is a room. They tell <laughs> you your crib is a room they tell you a breast is a room they do not say a room is a womb because in the womb you are one with her and she is not anything but love to you love is not a room love is wide open there is safety in the outdoors Happy <laughs>